What's up, y'all? It's your girl Stephanie, and today I have a pretty hefty beauty haul for you. A lot of you may already know this, but as a YouTube person, a lot of companies will send over new collections, new products my way so I can try them out and potentially share them with you. And I'm very grateful for this because, of course, I want to come out with new content all the time and share new products with you, and it would be quite expensive if I had to do that all on my own. Typically, I'll just share these products like in an Insta story, and if I really like a product, I'll put it in a tutorial or a favorites video. But this time I thought, why the heck not? Just put it into a haul. If you wanna see more of these kind of like PR package hauls, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, <laughs> let's get cracking. All right, starting off, I have three products from Too Faced. These two are from the Hangover Collection and this is from the Born This Way. Let's start off with a Hangover. I've actually never tried any products from this collection. I know my sister swears by this stuff right here. And also, you know, some of these are new collection. I think some of them are running collections. I'm not really quite sure. I know this one has been around for quite some time. This is a replenishing face primer with coconut water. My sister has really, really dry skin and she swears by this, but I know a lot of people swear by this, so I'm really excited to try this out. I think this one maybe might be new. This is the Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I never use setting sprays. I don't know, I just never really got into it. This says that you can prime with it, so you apply before makeup, set with it after makeup, and refresh so you can use any time. All right, let's just go for it. Ooh. Mm. 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 Oh my god. I don't know why it's so shocking. Ooh, it smells really nice and coconutty. I mean, it smells really, really good, so we'll see if it makes a difference. Let me know if any of y'all use setting sprays or if you think it's just kind of not necessarily. I guess if it's good as a primer, uh, I would definitely try that out, but. I mean, we'll see how my skin does in a second. The third product is the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Now this is something that I am excited to try out because I really swear by the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I think this is probably around the, you know, a very similar thing. I used the Translucent Powder to set my face. Oh, it's so cute, the little, it's like in a heart shape. <laughs> it's cute, but it's quite interesting because I feel like in order to set my powder, I want to dip it into like kind of like a blob of powder. And this one, how are you supposed to get the powder out? You're just supposed to like kind of, huh. That might be kind of like a design flaw because I don't really know how I'm supposed to get the powder out if I can't like flip it over and shake it out, you know? It's kind of like really sealed well. Huh, that's interesting. But the powder itself feels really nice and silky. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try it out, but yeah, I'm not really sure about the packaging. I might honestly just pop this little thingy off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I feel like I haven't really gravitated towards haul videos such as these because a lot of these products I've never used before, so I can't really give you like an honest opinion. It's like you're looking at it for the first time uh, with me, so. Yeah, I, I don't know, I, I will do more of these videos if you want me to, but I can't really give you an honest opinion. Oh, no, I just lied, because actually, for these, I can. <laughs> this is, I think, there's a few products in here that I can give you opinions on, and this is one of them. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Color Paint, and as you can see, in many different colors. If you watched my last video, uh, the glasses video that I did, the makeup with glasses video. Uh, I use this yellow one here for the yellow eye look with the second round frames. So I've already tried out a couple of these. I also just use this one right here on my eyes. I use it as a base and I actually have it right here. I have, um, this is the Amanda Steele ColourPop Hydroplane that I have on top of it. I kinda just wanna try out some like different blue eye looks, but I have also used this one by itself. Uh, it's that really pretty like Barbie blue. You know what I'm talking about? The Barbie eyeshadow. Uh, I did that the other day and it was really cute. I really liked it. I feel like these are effective. You have to work with it quite fast. They are kinda sticky, so you kinda have to pat them on quite fast. Uh, and then it dries down. I found that this one is 
a really good color, but a little bit difficult to work with. So I would say if you want like a really nice blast of color, definitely go for these, but you have to really work with them quickly. I mentioned this really quickly. These are minis of the Sol de Janeiro. I'm sorry, Portuguese is not my strong suit. Uh, the <laughs> Bum Bum Cream here, let me take it out of the packaging, as well as the spray in the same scent. If you wanna see my complete review, how I just talk about these products, I put it in my last favorites, I believe. I'll put it in a card. But these are just little minis of the body lotion that I love and the spray, this Brazilian Crush body fragrance. And I'm stoked there's a mini because the big one's pretty big, so I have some little travel companions here. If you want to hear more about how delicious and awesome these are, I'll put it in the card above. I got a few products from another brand that I really love. This is Corez. Ugh. Yet another company that has just delicious smelling things. I mean, I feel like the Bum Bum Cream itself, like that company, that is their like number one thing, but Corez has like many delicious smelling things and the lotion just is so moisturizing and the scents stay for a really long time. So this one is the Sea Lavender Body Butter. Oh wow, it does have like, it's lavender with, on here it says, oceanic notes. And that's true. It's like you wouldn't know that that would be a good combination, but that really smells good. And then this one is the Coconut Guava Body Butter. And y'all know this one has to be good. Oh yeah, this one is just like summertime in a squeezy bottle. <laughs> and then also from Carez, we have three shower gels. So this one is Fig. Fig is one of my all time favorite scents from Carez. Just smells incredible. This one and just guava are my two favorite scents from Carez. Here we have white grape and papaya mango. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked that I got all of these <laughs> as well. And I have two more things that I actually have never used. So the first one here, which I've actually heard a lot about and I'm excited to try out. This is the Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. The reason why I wanna try this is whenever I go on planes, I like to do some sort of like overnight mask or just like a really nice thick uh, cream on my face. Otherwise, I'll really, I don't know, it's so weird. I'll break out if I don't do that on the plane. So I've been trying to find one that like I really, really like. I think it's because plain air is like recycled. So you're just getting the same air all the time. So it's good to like put a thick layer in between the air and your skin. I don't, I don't know if that makes any freaking sense at all, but that's just like my weird little theory. Uh, so this is supposed to be a sleeping facial. I know that it's just like really, really thick. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells really nice. It's a rose scent, but it's not like an overly imposing rose scent, if you know what I mean. Ooh, that is nice. Nice and thick. So I'm definitely gonna be trying this out for sure. Not just on a plane, but at home as well. Oh, that is a really beautiful rose scent. Okay, and then one more product from Corez right here. We have the Greek yogurt smoothie, which is a priming moisturizer. So this says, it is a yogurt smoothie for supreme hydration, smoothing, and priming before makeup. Yogurt is rich in probiotics, proteins, and minerals to nourish and support skin's natural defense. Oh, it's quite milky. I think I have the scent of the rose one left over, but it does have, okay, let me put it up here. Ooh, it has a really nice, pleasant, floral scent to it. And I actually uh, met up with some people from Corez like a month ago. Their factory is next door to the, oh, how do you say it, Fage? That Greek yogurt. And they actually use yogurt from that brand. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm always down to try a nice hydrating primer. So we'll be trying this one out soon. I know this video is gonna be so long, but it's gonna be worth it because at the end, I have this huge package from Mac. I've never, I didn't, I was like speechless when I received it. I was like, I didn't even realize Mac would do this. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go over a few more things and then I'll show that one at the end. So you know what, let's do this one right here from Arctic Fox. I actually kept it in the box so I can show you how it came. Arctic Fox is uh, the hair color that I would always use whenever I colored my hair. It's different crazy colors. Uh, I absolutely love it. That's Leanne right there. She's amazing. She also, her and her husband have uh, their own YouTube channel as well. You should definitely check them out. This is their company. So this packaging was so cute. It's for 4th of July. So here we have a blue, which is Poseidon. 
And then we have this pink, which is virgin pink. I've used both of these colors a lot. And um, I have to say this hair color, if you're trying to dye your hair a crazy color, like this is the one to go for. This product contains really safe ingredients. It's vegan, not tested on animals, and 15% of their profits go towards saving animals. So yeah, they're really, it's a great company in general if you wanna try their products out. I wanted to show the box too because there is some more stuff in here. I think they collaborated for this box with a couple other companies. So this one is Lemonhead. And it says, <laughs> get Lemonhead. And it's glitter for adults. I think I've heard of this before. It's based in Los Angeles. Whoa, whoa. I didn't realize it's like in gel form. Oh dang, that is really cool. It's actually, I thought it was like loose glitter, but it's actually not. There are different sizes of glitter in there. Like chunky ones and little ones and it's very iridescent. I don't know if it's, it's not, it's not hollow for all you hollow sexuals out there, but I'm sure they probably do have, or is it? I think it is. Sometimes I can't tell, you know, but here we go. There is a code on here that is Foxy15. I think that's 15% off of their site. And also uh, Foxy4 is another code for Arctic Fox. So that is for 15% off site wide valid July 1st through 4th. Um, I'll put all this information in the down bar below. There is one more thing here, which, oh, there's sunglasses. Here we go. It's a look. <laughs> it's actually pretty cute, I like it. This entire area of my bed is getting so crazy right now. We actually have just a couple more boxes. I was actually going to include some cream products in this haul, but then I realized, you know what? Like I wanted to maybe try each product over the next week. Uh, like the masks and stuff and then just make a whole other video where I'm actually trying things on so look out for that video next week That'll definitely be uh, An interesting one for sure, but for now we have this box from origins it says hello summer so it's a summertime box from them and Here we have first of all this cute little water bottle. I actually I have one other water bottle But this is quite useful because I was wanting to get uh, a smaller one. This is from Swell. I'm thinking it's probably, I don't know if they came out with this print for the summer, but it's definitely a really cute print, so I'm stoked. Thank you for this. And then we have some products right here. This is all from their Zero Oil collection. So first of all, we have the Zero Pore Cleanser. I, you know what? I've actually used maybe like a mini of this before, like a travel one, and I remember it was really nice. Uh, I am about to run out of my current cleanser, so I'll dive into this one. These are all for acne prone skin or for just like keeping the skin clear. Um, let's see. Yeah, it contains salicylic acid in the cleanser right here. I think all of them probably do. So this one here is the Zero Oil Oil Free Moisture Lotion. Uh, it doesn't say if it, this one contains salicylic acid, but I'm guessing this is just a very lightweight lotion. Yeah, looks like it. You know what, I'm gonna have to, I think I haven't put anything here yet. Ooh, okay, yeah, it has like a really, a sweet mint scent to it, but not overpowering. It smells actually really nice. So this is a very lightweight moisturizer right here. Oh, I did it out of order. Here we have the Zero Oil Pore Purifying Toner. They all have Saw Palmetto. I don't know what that is actually. Saw Palmetto and Mint. On the back it says, this one also has salicylic acid and it's supposed to remove excess oil. Oh. Yep, same scent. It's kind of like a really light, nice, sweet mint. Finally, we have this little Super Spot Remover Acne Treatment Gel with salicylic acid. I currently use the Eradicate one with sulfur. You know that one's like the pink one where you you dot it on and it's very obvious that you're using acne treatment. So I'm thinking this would be good if I'm trying to like treat something maybe even in the daytime if I got like a real hefty one. So I could have a treatment on in the daytime and not have it be obvious. So yeah, I might try this one out. Hopefully not soon, because my skin's been real, real nice lately. So hopefully I won't have to try this one out soon, but maybe I will. Okay, y'all ready for this? Look at this huge box from MAC. 
really nice message right here. And then we got four drawers. Okay, I'm just gonna pull them out like this. Not just one drawer of these lipsticks, but two drawers of lipsticks. This is freaking insane. <laughs> okay, funny story. No, this is not actually, it's not even that funny. But my absolute favorite lipstick uh, from MAC of all time, probably no, this is my favorite lipstick of all time, is Ruby Woo by MAC. And when I opened this up, I was like, holy crap. And I was like, I bet they have Ruby Woo here. And the very first lipstick that I picked up was Ruby Woo. Can I find it? Was it this one? Here it is. Because I know I picked one right from the corner here. I love this red. This is my favorite red. Super matte, blue tone, so beautiful. This is my favorite red of all time. So it's in here. And actually the one that I have is kind of running low. So I was stoked. There's a whole entire just variety of different lipsticks in here. There's a lot of classics in here, but there's a lot of just really crazy out there colors as well. So that's cool. Like this one right here I know is one of my sister's favorites. It's taupe and I've never tried it out. This one is stone, which is a really nice brown. Let me see if I can actually pick out some of the crazier ones they got in here though. Okay, like this one. This one's called Wild Extract and it's a frost. See, like, I don't really know, can you see that? I'm not really sure if I would ever wear that. It's like a green uh, gold. To me, it looks green from here. Um, so I'm not complaining at all, but like what I'm saying is that they really sent over some crazy colors as well as some classics. So uh, I'm soaked for these two drawers. <laughs> and then, you know, I haven't really tried out other MAC lip products other than the, the lipsticks. Uh, of course, okay, stoked for their lip liners because their lip liners are so good. But also here, like these are, whoa, brand new to me. Let's pick out this red one right here. This is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Fashion Legacy. I've never tried any of their liquid lips, so I'm really excited to try these ones out right here. God, the thing about MAC is just, the color payoff is always so crazy. Like, it's always so opaque. Like, when you get the color, like, you know you're gonna have really great payoff. If it says so, unless it's like, you know, a sheer one or something. And also, I love a couple of the sheer ones from MAC as well. And the very last drawer here that we have are some lip glosses, and then this is, uh. Prep and Prime. I think it's just like a nice primer for the lips. For for me, it would just be like Vaseline, but maybe this helps the color stay on a little bit more. And in terms of the lip glosses, let's see, or lip glass, sorry. This candy box. I remember my sister when I was in high school, she used to love these things. So yeah, just really straightforward lip glass. All right, I just paused for a second to pick out some lipsticks that I'm actually really stoked to try out. I'm stoked to try out a lot of them, but these are like my top six right here. Cause to be honest, I, if I swatched all these and show them to you, it would just be, it would be a lot. So I'm gonna show you these six right here. I guess, you know what? I'm gonna put it on my wrist right here. So first of all, we have Antique Velvet, which is a matte. I don't know, it looks, I think it's gonna turn out to be more of like a burgundy. Oh, it's a brown. Look at that. It's like a very nice, is that a reddish brown? That's pretty. I'm into that for sure. Next up we have the Retro Matte and All Fired Up. This one is, okay. I feel like it has a similar formula to Ruby Woo, which you know, I'll swatch for you as well at the end, but more of a pink, but it's not like too pink. It's like a more of a red tone as well. Okay, next up is the MAC Red, which I've always seen this one, but I've never tried. It's a satin, so if you wanna do a red, a nice blue tone red that is not super matte, that's a great option right there. Here we have this matte sin. I think there's like a trend here. I do like MAC matte colors. Ooh, this one is like, I wanna say it's burgundy, but I feel like it has more purple in there. 
yeah, that's pretty. But yeah, it, it does have like, it's like a reddish purple. We have a Vegas Volt, which is an amplified lipstick. I don't really know what that means. Does that mean that it has more pigment? It's like a pretty coral actually. I thought it was gonna be more orange, but it's a really creamy consistency and more of a coral. And then finally we have Whirl, which, okay, I picked this one, oh, it's pretty. I actually didn't look at the what it looked like, but my sister loves this color. She always talks about Whirl, so. Oh, okay, it's like a really nice, kind of taupey brown nude color right there. And I will swatch Ruby Woo for you, now that I lost it. Ah, here it is, okay. My favorite lipstick of all time, Ruby Woo. You know what, I've always noticed too, when you get a new tube of this, you kinda like gotta warm it up a little bit, cause it is so matte, but once you have it kinda uh, not so sharp at the tip, it's easier to put on. Look at that color. So yeah, I feel like, oh wow, MAC Red is definitely pinkier than this, but I love this red so much. I wear it all the time still. I've worn it, this is the color that got me into lipstick, cause I never wore lipstick before wearing this color right here in college, so yeah, stoked. <laughs> all right everyone, that's, that's it for now. <laughs> Um, you know, I was just thinking about something as I was unboxing everything right now. Uh, a lot of you probably wonder, what do YouTube people do with all these products uh, if when they like don't end up using it or it's not a good color match? So I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, things go into kind of like different categories. So one, uh, if I feel like some of my friends might like something, I have a box like in the front of my house. I have two different boxes. One is with stuff that I haven't touched at all. Um, there'll be a lot of times, like a lot of companies will send me like every single color of every foundation and concealer. And obviously uh, I use like one color, you know? So I'll put it in there. Or uh, if I've swatched it and I just don't think it's a good color match or something, I have that in another box. So my friends can come over and look things over if they want um, and just go ahead and take it. Another box I have um, is for my mom because sometimes she wants some skincare and stuff. But also I have another box for my mom uh, to bring home. My aunt who's Filipino, she sends back stuff to the Philippines like I think once a month. So my mom just asked me to save up a bunch of stuff so I can give it to her when I go home. Actually that has really added up right now. I'm actually going home mid-July. So I think I'm gonna have like an entire suitcase like full of products and stuff to bring back to my mom. Um, but, so that's another thing that I'll do is I'll, if I can save it up and give it to my mom and then my aunt to send to the Philippines. And a new thing that I'm doing actually, because the thing is I haven't been home in so long and things are really accumulating and I want to just be able to like, you know, give it as quickly as possible. So I found out that there is a women's shelter really close to me because I live quite close to Skid Row. Um, so I have actually four, yeah, four suitcases full of stuff that I'm gonna be giving quite soon, along with the suitcases, because if you didn't know this, uh, Women's Shelter is also like, not only bath products, clothing, and I, you know, the makeup as well, but they want suitcases as well, so that's gonna be all going over there. Also, if things have been sitting in the box, I think, like, you know, my friends might like potentially, if those things have been sitting in there for a while, uh, I'll like transfer it over into another box, so. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if this is making any sense for you, but it's a it's a system, it's my system. <laughs> if y'all wanna see maybe uh, where I go to to donate everything, I could put that in a vlog. I'm not like, I don't know, I just don't want y'all to think I'm like, ooh, like look at me, like I'm donating things, you know? But um, you know, that's the reality of my situation. I'm telling you now, like that's what I do with the product. So not just like sitting at my house, uh, not going anywhere. I use a lot of the products and I like them. And of course I don't give away um, used makeup unless I swatch it. And those are only for my friends. I'm not gonna give a stranger a swatch product. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling now. So I don't know where my brain was going, but yeah, just wanna let you know, that's what I do with a lot of products. All right, if you like this video, uh, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. If you have any questions for me, ask away in the comments and I'll try to answer and I will see you in the next video. Bye.